What's up guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and in today's video, we're gonna go through how to create and set up negative keyword lists, and how to find negative keywords too, we're gonna toss that in, and build a list for your Google Ads account, and how to apply that list to any campaign you want. So what you're looking at right now is um, inside one of our demo campaigns we have in our, in our account here. And how we're going to add the lists, you're gonna to come to keep, so go into your account, Go into keywords, negative keywords. If you hit the blue plus here, you're going to see use negative keyword list or add negative keywords. So we're actually going to build a list. I'm going to show you how to do that right now using this towing campaign. So you can see here we have a couple master list, general list, um, general negative, stuff like that. So if you wanted to apply this, uh, this list or one of your lists to the campaign you're in, all you do is check the box and hit save. That's all you would do to apply a list once you have it. So we're actually going to build a list. So how to build a list. You can pull up your uh, negative keyword thing here where you enter your keywords and go up here to the, I don't know if you're going to see this, the wrench icon, tools and settings, go into keyword planner. And then we're going to open up keyword planner here and you'll see this. So how to find negative keywords is pretty simple. Actually, all you're really going to do is search for your main keyword theme of your of your uh, Google Ads campaign that you're trying to build. So in this example, we're using towing. So we're going to do towing services because that's like a main theme type keyword for this. Towing services or tow truck near me. We want to do a few keywords. So let's try that. We'll hit get results. Perfect. So these are all keywords Google's suggesting based on the relevance of the keywords we want. All right. So if we go to the bottom, the very bottom, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this actually, but right below there, you see those little bottom right, that little arrow right there. You're going to hit the one that goes all the way to the last page because these are the least relevant keywords. So you want to go, so you want to search your main phrases, your main keyword phrases, then go to the all the way to the back of the suggestions. Okay. And then we're going to start combing through and finding negative keywords that Google thinks are related to our main keywords, even though they're not. So a wrecker service near me. That has nothing to do with towing service. So let's take wrecker because that's the root keyword we want to avoid. We'll come back into our campaign. We'll put wrecker. So that's one tractor trailer wrecker. If we just get rid of wrecker, that will go with it. So let's go back up to the next page. Remember, we're starting from the back. And we're going to look for more. All right, so AAA. Uh, if we're running a towing campaign, we don't want AAA. That's somebody looking to call AAA. We want to stay away from that unless you have a brand ad group for that. But in this case, for confusion purposes, we're not going after that. Tow truck for track for trailer. Big rig wrecker. I already got wrecker, so that doesn't, we don't need that. So this can be tedious work, guys, but you just got to put in the time and build your negative lists. And you, all you got to do is do it once. So sit down, spend an hour or two, build out like a really intense negative list, it's going to pay you dividends in the future. All right, so we still got Wrecker. So cheapest might be one. I don't know if you guys want to avoid cheap terms. We tend to, we tend to do that just because it's people who usually convert lower. So we do, I would do cheapest and cheap. So we'll put those in our new negative list. Mobile tow truck. Uh, that's pretty, probably pretty good. Wreckers towing near me. So that could be a brand of another towing company. So that's something you want to take. I'm going to add that to our list. Semi towing company. So depending on the type of tow truck, let's say the client here, if they don't tow semi trucks, I would which, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure most don't. I would take semi, add that to the list. I would also do tractor for tractor trailer. 
and trailer and add those to the negative list. Eighteen wheeler. Add that to the list. Especially for uh, our tow truck client, is the guy with a flatbed just looking for roadside assistance stuff. They're not going to be. <clears throat> it's a waste of money for them to be showing their ads and paying for clicks for semi truck tractor, eighteen wheeler tractor trailer stuff. It's a straight up waste of their time and money. Okay, what else do we got here? Believe it or not, this is actually pretty good for Google. Usually it's a shit show in here. Heavy wreckers. We already got wreckers. Got cheap. Fast tow truck. Oh, that's good. 18 wheeler. We got that. So commercial, it depends on the client. Um, you could have a commercial towing ad group. I don't really know what that entails because... I don't have a tow truck, but that might be one of them. But for now, I'm just going to stay away from it. All right. Well, I don't want to keep you guys here while I try and do this, but winching service near me. So that actually probably should be okay. Private tow truck, heavy duty. All right. So let's just say you went through and um, you did all of your negative keywords, right? And you got them all listed out nice and neatly in here. So all we're going to do, once you have your list in here and you went through and you spent your time and you found every possible negative keyword you can, you're going to come down here, check this box, save to new or existing list. You're going to name it. So for this, we'll do towing campaign negatives. Or you can add it to an existing list and it gives you a list of your existing ones. But for now, we're creating a brand new one, as you guys are, so we're just going to create this. So we have our keywords, we check the box, we named the negative list, and we're going to hit save. And that's it. That's, that's how you're going to add negative keyword lists into your campaigns. Now to see this list, so let's say you built this list already. You can come up here to use negative keyword list, and you'll see our list right here. Check that, hit save, and it applies to the campaign. Now, if you want to add more negative keywords to an existing list, you would do the same thing, right? List out all your negative keywords, check the box down here, accept what you're doing, you're coming over here, add to existing list, and we would choose our towing negative list. And every keyword we add would be added to this negative list. And you can just kind of grow your list bigger and bigger because I cannot stress enough how important a negative keyword list is, especially if you're using broad match keywords, which a lot of people are. You have to have a huge negative keyword list. And you just, unfortunately, the only way to do that is to take the time and uh, just go through and just build it. That's what you got to do. So, hopefully, a second here. Hopefully, uh, this video was helpful for you guys. Pretty simple stuff, not hard, um, super important if you're running Google Ads. But um, make sure uh, you subscribe to our channel. Check out the links in the description. We put a lot of we have a huge link tree now with a ton of stuff in there for you guys, some goodies and free courses, stuff like that. And uh, if you have any questions, as always, drop them in the comment section below this video. And besides that, I'll catch you in the next video.